and they found in his car an AR-15 and multiple magazines of ammunition because he thinks that maybe I'm killing people. So I ask myself, why would Senator want to do this? So go to Rand Paul website and you see fire Dr. Fauci with a little box that says Hey, what's up, everybody? Jazz Bogonzo here. Another what's next. All right. In our latest Fauci versus Ram Paul, Ram Paul uh, goes after Fauci with more facts because, of course, if you challenge Lord Fakwa on science, you are challenging him. And, of course, fireworks ensue. Let's take a look. This comes out of Fox News. Rand Paul rips Fauci following latest hearings fireworks. He doesn't want to debate because he is science, of course. Paul fired back at Fauci for blaming him for a man arrested on a I-80, reportedly en route to kill him, quote, end quote. Set this up. U.S. Senator Rand Paul sparred once again with Dr. Anthony Fauci, uh, I'm sorry, Lord Fauci, I'm sorry, Anthony Fauci, in a Senate hearing on Tuesday where the lawmaker pressed the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, or shall we say, uh, head of Wuhan, on a reports to squash, quote, fringe epidemiologist coronavirus mitigation strategies. The Kentucky Republican also asked Fauci to address accusations that he is at least tangibly culpable in the creation of the viruses through gain of research function, uh, through gain of function research, excuse me. Following the hearing, Paul told, Paul told uh, Fox News the story that there is evidence of a probability of 90 to 10 that the COVID-19 virus came from Wuhan, facts. Laboratory was engineered via gain of function research, facts, despite, despite Fakwa's denial. Fakwa funded the lab, Paul told Martha McCallum. He tried to obscure the idea that he was giving money to the lab that he steadfastly for two years and said it, was gain, it wasn't gain of function, that they weren't taking viruses that don't exist in nature, creating them and creating viruses that are so dangerous that they could actually wipe out a portion of humanity. He continues to deny that this came from the lab. Yes, he is culpable, Paul added. So when you asked him to investigate it, he's not exactly interested. He has a conflict of interest because it came from the lab. Uh, let's go to the debate. Doesn't want to debate. Paul discussed how Fauci previously appeared to claim to the human embodiment of science, declaring that I am science in response to another interview's question about critics attacking him. Dr. Fauci doesn't want to debate. He doesn't want to squash the debate because he is science. If you criticize him, you're criticizing science. So with that, let's play the interview that Paul had on the show. He's trying to deflect because what I was asking him about is this. He says that he is science and that if you question him or oppose him, you're opposing science. But this kind of arrogance also led him and Dr. Collins to say they would take a takedown of three epidemiologists who started the Great Barrington Declaration. They're from Stanford, Oxford, and Harvard. They called them fringe. They orchestrated a takedown campaign in the lay media, not in the scientific journals, on the merits, but in the lay media. And so he didn't want to answer my question, so he accuses me of fomenting violence. But it's a misdirection because he doesn't want to accept that basically he has become a political animal and that everything he does every day is to further his political agenda, Facts. not science. Facts. You know, he's obviously under pressure, and I think that you know, it has been politicized. There's sort of people who are pro-Fauci and people who are against Fauci. Um, but at one point you did say to him, you are the person who is more responsible for the deaths in this country than anyone else. Do you think that's fair? Well, look at it this way. I believe that this virus originated from a lab that was Facts. engineered by the Chinese. Facts. We don't have 100% proof of that, but we have, I think the evidence leans 90-10 that this came from the lab. 
He funded the lab. He tried to obscure the idea that he was giving money to the lab. And then he steadfastly for two years said it wasn't gain of function, that they weren't taking viruses that don't exist in nature, creating them and creating viruses that are so dangerous that they could actually wipe out a portion of humanity. He continues to deny that. If this came from the lab, yes, he's culpable. So when you ask him to investigate it, he's not exactly disinterested. He has a conflict of interest because if it came from the lab, yes, he deserves some moral culpability. The virus ultimately came from Mother Nature, so Mother Nature deserves most of the blame. But if it also came out of a lab, then I think man has some to blame, and I think Fauci would be involved in this. He still deserves blame because he says he still trusts the Chinese, and he's not for any more regulations on gain of function. He just thinks it's yeah. John remember that little um, to create these viruses. That little working with you a know, Chinese comment. It was er, I mean, uh, I Chinese. I promise you, we get to the bottom of uh, this, but we get to the bottom of this so we don't have this happen friends? again. I think there, there should not only be prohibitions domestically. I would be for convening a, a uh, an international treaty of civilized nations to say we shouldn't be doing this kind of research because of the threats it has to mankind. I mean, my thoughts. At the end of the day, Fakwa is a uh, piece of shit. That's pretty much what he is. Uh, for him to uh, sit on his uh, little bully pulpit, shoot his mouth off, saying that if you uh, deny science, you are denying me. If you question science, you are questioning me. How dare you speak ill will of Lord Fakwa? So when Rand Paul puts a squeeze on him, he loses, really, like I titled this, he loses his shit. But... At the end, does this do anything? Does this uh, put any more pressure on this administration to fire Lord Farquhar? No. Trump should have fired him last year. Uh, so we've seen this all before. We saw this with Jack Dorsey. We saw this with uh, representatives of Google. We saw this with uh, Zuckerberg, who looked like a, who looked like a clown uh, when he got roasted um in congress they've all gotten roasted Rand Paul has done the most roasting regarding Fakwa. he's the one who's held his feet to the fire more so than anyone else but at the end of the day does this do anything at this point we are two years in if this were a year ago i would say yeah you know what yeah we may have something here but now at the end of the game where the game's already been decided I like Rand Paul. I like what he did. I like that he uh, that, that he that he set Roasty, uh, that he set Fauci on fire, and uh, Fauci, uh, you know, was saying that his website was culpable or responsible. Um, Fauci's a little Napoleon, and uh, he's, you know, sadly, it really doesn't do much. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share, subscribe to it, and we'll catch you guys next time. Peace.